Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at a Grand California. Uh, so this just turned up with us uh, at Liverpool behind us here, so thought a great opportunity to have a look. We've not looked at a Grand California for a little while. Uh, I particularly like these, I think Grand California is really, really good. Uh, let's see what things it's got on as well, because it's literally just arrived with us. Uh, so first things first, colour-wise, um, like this combination I have to say, got the Mojave beige uh, down at the bottom that's there, uh, with the white on top as the two-tone paint option. Uh, I think it just gives it a slightly different look on the vehicle. Very, very popular, as you know, with these in Indian grey as well. See so lots of them in that grey colour. And they've gone for uh, the white awning on the side. So obviously you can have the awning in black uh, that's on here, but in the two-tone, I think it's quite nice to have it uh, as well in white. I think it's either of those two colours, actually, I think would probably suit it that's in here. But looking at it today, it does kind of blend in a bit with that being on the top of the vehicle as well that's on there. But uh, standard setup on the side, as we're used to, that's on here. So... For those of you that haven't seen Grand California before, so you've got obviously main window on both sides on this panel here, which is your sliding door uh, panel. And then we've got the slight outward bulge that's on the back here where the windows are, and that's to allow you to sleep across ways because this is the 600 version, uh, so it's six meters long. We've got two windows on the back. This particular vehicle does have the rear view camera. Uh, on a crafter in general, I... Oh, I don't know how you do it without it. I think it's a brilliant option having that, especially with it being so high up because you really do get a good gauge of what's at the back. Uh, and then coming around to the side that's on here, we've got our usual plug socket here for the electrics. This is where your electrics plug in uh, that's on the side there. And then we've obviously got our cassette for the, uh, the toilet facilities that's in here. So uh, that's in there. This one has got the SOG, so the, uh, the ventilation or the... Um, uh, to keep the uh, the smells etc in there uh, and you know that because it's got this little pipe on the side of it that's the easy way to tell that it's got it or not that's in there we've got our exhaust pipe for the heater this is the hot water and hot air heater which is based underneath the bench seat in the back have a look inside in a moment uh, and that's where that would be on the side if you've gone for the upgrade and gone for the diesel heating option obviously this would look a slightly different a little bit slightly longer uh, that's there as well so easy way for you to tell the differences between them uh, that comes out and then obviously coming around to the side uh, normal side words on uh, from on here and then as we come right round to the back round to the front we can see the last option we can see that's on here and that is the solar panel up on the top it's on there so again easy to tell it's got solar panel on it because it obviously with it being white it's in that dark color as well uh, that you can see on the top of the vehicle there then on the side here we've got our water fill so obviously it's blue for water you've got water all over it as well as with all grand californias we've got our step which comes out uh, obviously if you want it permanently out you can put it into camping mode to do that and then a couple of things on the, of the cabinet that's on here uh, so this has got the fridge which we'll go into but you can drop down there so you can put your drinks and things on when you're out and we've got plug socket and usb that's in there if you've gone for the option of satellite tv uh, that would be where your satellite, one of, one of your ports for satellite TV, you'd also have it as well in the interior of the vehicle. Uh, we've got some light switches on here, uh, which are for the uh, interior and exterior of the vehicle, because we have got this strip here. So you've got a light strip along here, uh, which lights up, which is really nice. And then in the bottom bit, we've got our fridge with the frozen compartment that's just in there on the top. This is one of the features I really like about the Grand California. Obviously, it's just, it's a bigger vehicle. I mean, you can't get away from it. It's not the size of a, uh, of a C6.1, an ocean size of it. You've got this, this bigger size vehicle. But you have just got those extra little things there with the fridge, with the, uh, with the cool box that's in there as well, and be able to get ice and things that's in there. Uh, so moving in the vehicle, king area here, uh, we've got our little pullout just to give you a little bit more uh, space that's in there as well to put things in. Uh, and then we've got our cooking area that's here. Uh, so within here we've got a two burner hob uh, which is nice and nice to use and we've got our sink as well that's in here if you don't obviously need those you can have these down you can use these then as work surface if you're out and about depending on where you are as well a uh, really neat little feature uh, that's on here is we've got built-in screen so these come straight across there we go so if you want to keep out the flies and things like that you can do with those uh, i do particularly like that I think that's quite quite good and then on the other side of this so we've got a big drawer that comes out from here so we've got a bit stuff in there at the moment but um, that's the the drawer function there and then again we've got another two drawers that's down here and these are quite big uh, so you've got lots of space that's in here um, a little flip down but this is this is for your gas supply done separate videos on these before so we know where um, where they are got some more plug sockets on here uh, obviously for these plug sockets to work the vehicle does need to be plugged in 
uh, in the side of the vehicle, around the side. So uh, with those sockets that's on there, you've got to have 240 volts uh, plugged in on there for them to work. There is an option to have ambient lighting, uh, and what the ambient lighting does, where these cupboards are here, for example, obviously we've got cupboard space all the way along, and up in the top section as well that's in here. The ambient lighting puts an LED strip in here, essentially, and that goes all the way around the outside of it. So obviously then uh, that can give extra mood lighting, let's say. I've seen people, the people put LED ones in there anyway, you know, their own ones that's in there with different color mix as well. So you, you, it's a fairly something you can do uh, if you want to yourself. If you've got one and you want to upgrade or put something in, uh, you can get them off Amazon, the strip ones that you do with remote controls and things like that. We just need plugging into a USB somewhere. Uh, obviously we've got the bed back here, uh, which is a great thing. Uh, big, big bed that's in here. We've done lots of videos on these as well with me. So on this version, we're gonna sleep across the vehicle. Uh, on the long version, long wheelbase version, obviously we're gonna be back to front. Uh, we've got a windows at the back here, which is quite nice. So you can let lots of ventilation in, in the morning. Plus if you want to, uh, I said this before, obviously if you're sleeping in here as well, you can open the back doors and get a good, good view out. Uh, obviously you've got storage under this bed uh, and this section of the bed does fold up. Uh, we'll show you that from the rear of the vehicle so you can have a look through the rear doors. Now let's not forget the roof vent that's in here. So we've got one back here, really big one back here, and we've got one at the front as well. So let's in not, lots of natural light. Uh, and on these roof vents, obviously we've got blackout blind. And we've also got, as with the front door bit, side door there, uh, we've got another one as well uh, to open up there. If you had the air conditioning option, you would obviously lose that because that's where the air conditioning unit uh, is placed above. Uh, so next thing, obviously moving around. So in here, we've got our bathroom. So we're going to sh show you through those there now. I will just point out very quickly, I've noticed on here as well, is have got a switch on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, now this is something new. I've not seen this on, uh, on one before. So I think this is obviously a model update uh, and that's to turn the lights on in and out. So the lights used to just come on automatically. Now you've got a switch to turn it on and off. Essentially, we've got a bit of a cupboard, sink, toilet, bathroom mirror, and importantly, we've got the shower, which we can pull up uh, and put up on the uh, on the top on there as well. And as you can see, we've obviously got a skylight as well in the bathroom, and that helps with ventilation as well in there. This has got the overhead bed. This option is a couple of thousand pounds for the overhead bed. Uh, really, really good, useful feature. Uh, do you need it? Do you not need it? So it's an option. If you don't have this, effectively, this is all storage. So you can get, you'll be amazed probably what you can get that's in here as well. Future proof in the vehicle, if you're looking at this size of vehicle, most people are doing it for a full berth or have that option of having a full berth. I uh, said so this is for children. I can get in it diagonally um, that's there. So, um, you know, would you use it? Would you not use it? Love to know your comments in the comments box below. Would you order it? Would you not order it? And just to show you quickly how easy this is, we've done videos on this before. We'll try and do this with, uh, with Tim where he is, but basically you press that button, that releases the mechanism. You pull it out and that's it. It's in and it's down. Uh, there's a little flap to come over here to give you a bit of extra uh, room that's there, but essentially that is the bed down. I said it is designed for children uh, that's in there because of the, um, of the length more than anything. Uh, but you could, you could certainly get one adult up there uh, if you wanted to as well. So it's an option that's there to have it. And obviously when that up there and, and they're there, you've still got your living area down here. So even with the... <coughs> With, with the kids up there, for example, if they were up there or somebody else was up there, uh, it's still nice and cozy down here. Uh, you can still do what you need to do. So over here on this side of it, so this is our dining area within the vehicle. Uh, so here we've just got a bit of storage in here uh, on both sides. They're quite deep, they go quite deep down, quite big. Uh, this one here, we've got a light on the side. And so this is our dining area. So we've got two seats that are here sit at. Obviously we've got our driving passenger seat, which we can uh, swivel around uh, and to create this dinette area. The table, which you can remove, uh, you can move the uh, table in and out, slides wherever you might want it to go. So, uh, so that's the, the, the whole area that's here. Obviously we've got a window on the side here uh, that opens up and you can open that to so there. We've got a window on out this side. If I shut the door in there and block out the outside world. So, uh, and as always on these, we've got the fly screen and the blackout blind, so we can uh, we can see where we're going from there. And then these things, nice and easy to open up. We just open them up from on there. And then obviously you can open it up and let more light in and obviously lets in uh, some ventilation as well. Uh, worth pointing out the one on this side, uh, if you've got the heater going to so the boiler going that's in here on gas, that window can't open. And because the vent is literally just straight outside, so obviously the fumes will come back into the vehicle. Um, but it's worth noting that if you're on electrical hookup, so if you're on a campsite, 
which most people probably are with one of these, um, you know, especially in, in, in England anyway. Uh, obviously, if you're in Scotland, you might be doing a bit more wild camping that's there, but you might be on a campsite here. If you've got electrical hookup and you plug in, obviously you can have that window open because the heater then is working on electric and not on gas. Uh, so obviously there's no fumes or anything like that uh, going out of the vehicle. And to shut these, you just pull them in and just lock these back up again. Uh, if any of you are caravan people and you've been caravanning for years or anything like that, which I had when I was younger, you'll know these windows very well. <laughs> Tried and tested, <laughs> they're all the same. Obviously we've got our normal windows at the front from the cab, from the driver and the passenger's uh, perspective that's there. So obviously give you a little light. And then we've got more storage up here in both of these pods. So we've got lots of extra storage to put things in. Uh, as I said, the storage on the side, I've seen people put plants and things like that that drape down uh, to add a bit of colour and a bit of, uh, you know, to change the vehicle a bit more to, to what you might want it as well. Mentioned earlier about the satellite TV, if you have that as an option, obviously it would be down here. Also as well, it would also be in this cubby hole here. So if you can see the black mat on the floor, this has got the induction charging. So if you were to put a mobile phone on there, your mobile phone will charge where that black section is there. Uh, but also as well, if you have the satellite TV section, that's where your sockets would be. Uh, and I often get asked a lot, where do you put a TV? Now, a popular option for a lot of people for the TV is to remove the headrest and have the TV mounted actually on this wall here as a permanent feature. Alternatively, by using these to actually connect a TV on, because uh, you, can, you can get brackets that go onto these headrests, for example, here, uh, and actually mount a TV in this similar kind of area. The ones I've seen which I think do look quite good is when it's actually mounted onto this, uh, onto the back that's on here. Uh, not by screwing in or anything like that. So they've used like silicon glue uh, to actually put a, a mounting bracket on there then obviously that then uh, allows the TV. So that's the obvious place for TV. But again, you've got your sockets, etc. that's on here. Uh, you might want it from on there as well. Uh, for me personally, whenever I go away, uh, I've always got my iPad. So I don't even bother putting uh, TV up or anything like that. So uh, I've got that to, uh, to work with as well. Or you might have a big laptop or something like that, which you can move around the vehicle as you want. Obviously I wouldn't put a TV up here because this is going to form the bed section that's on here. I mean you could certainly, if, it was, if you weren't having the bed section, you could probably mount something on here for a TV to be pointing down, obviously depending on the size of it. Uh, but obviously most of the connections, for example, for all that TV are going to go into the back, uh, into here down on the side of it. Uh, most TVs, you can get TVs out that run on 12 volts, uh, which are the better ones if you're having a permanent TV. Uh, that cynics might as well just run straight off the batteries and you're not having to worry about it uh, needing to be plugged in to get mains power. If any of you have got Grand California and you've got a TV that's in there as well, by all means, please put comments below, let people know what, what you've done that's in there as well, or send them to us, uh, and we can obviously then put it out there and let people know uh, what the different ones have got and what the options are. Right, so as I said, we can put this bed up, uh, and there is places for it to actually tie in so it doesn't fold back down. I'm just going to lean against it for a minute just to, to simplify the matter. So uh, we've got two boards which slot in from here um, and they are so that if you have got things that are in here they're not going to slide all the way uh, through the cab. Customers ones of these that I've seen that we've had in for service and things like that generally this area has got things in it uh, especially when they're going away you can put things in there so that those boards will separate this from the, the living area at least so it will stop things going through. But you've got plenty of storage space that's in here so the uh, cupboard in here the first one is our electrical cupboard so in the top section, we've got electrics that's there uh, and obviously storage space that's there as well. Secondary cupboard, uh, which is really big. This is huge. You'll be amazed what you can get in there. Absolutely tons and tons and tons of space uh, that's there. We've got a bit of space at the back here, uh, which goes further down. Again, uh, there's no door or anything on there, but you can get a boxes that's in there to go plastic boxes, which what I've used in the past uh, just as a storage exercise and put them in and stack them up that's in there, which we've got everything in, so you've got stuff easy to hand. Uh, and then finally, in this cupboard here, which is where your gas bottle goes, I'll take that out that's in there. Uh, so uh, two gas bottles you can put in, uh, which is within, in the vehicle, so you've got one that you're using, one as storage. Obviously, depending on what size of gas bottle you might want, 11 kg gas bottle is what the vehicle is designed for that's there, that's the biggest you can put in. Uh, but obviously you could put two sixes in or something like that if you wanted to, or you could just put one in and you know, with the idea that you're gonna get another one you go and then use the extra storage space uh, if you want uh, after that. So uh, different options that you can do from in there and that just slots uh, back into the into there and put it back in and then you've got a, a lock and a lock. Uh, but this unit in here, so behind this is where your cold water tank is. Uh, and you can access that from the top. We've done videos on that before as well. Uh, but that's where your cold water storage is, is, is 
uh, is on the other side of here, which is great because it's inside the vehicle, so not under slung or anything like that, it's in the vehicle. And then finally from the rear here, uh, so we've got two chairs, camping chairs. Anybody who's followed the channel will know these very well, they're the standard camping chairs we've got, and our table as well that's in here for the outside of the vehicle. Uh, I'll show you a picture of what one of those looks like with, with it all up now, we can insert that for you as well. Uh, so you get those as well. So really you've got everything you need in the vehicle as a standard when you're taking away. It's just your clothes and things like that that you're gonna put in and personalize it to as you want it. And that's the tour of the Grand 600. Uh, obviously there's a 680 version as well. We haven't covered one of those for a while, so uh, maybe next time we get one of those and we'll do a video tour around that. Which one would you have? Would you have a 600 or a 680? Uh, I suppose it might depend on your circumstances, how many people you actually need to carry and sleep uh, and where you're gonna be using the vehicle for as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions or queries on that, pop in the comments box below and then we can add it to our Q&A session, uh, which will be coming up soon and we'll see you on the next video.